Have you ever had to make a change in your business? Perhaps all of the staff, perhaps new entire computer systems or processes, or maybe just getting one person to change the way they work. I wouldn't mind betting it didn't go as smoothly as you might have hoped. So there are now three short video clips to talk about three great techniques that will help, all of which are part of the number one thing to do with any form of change management, and that is communication. Communicate, communicate, and communicate some more. But being a bit more specific, the three things that we're going to talk about in each of these video clips. Number one, get frustrated. Number two, definition. And number three, understanding. And number three, understanding. Again, this is a key part of communication. You need to understand their view. Yeah, you need to understand them, what and how they feel. You need to understand the way they work, because that will help you to communicate to them. The next part of understanding is the why and when. Why is everything changing? The context is so, so important and it's the one piece that's so often missed out. So why are things changing? Not because you want them to change. Normally because things have changed outside. The world nowadays is changing so fast, it's difficult to keep up. And that means that inside companies we need to change as well. So explain the context. Make it really clear why things have got to change. When? When have things got to change? Now, the last one is an interesting one. When you're talking about understanding, talk to them about what is not changing. This one's quite interesting because we all have a mental map of the way things are in our head. And on that map, if you can show the one or two things, or more, that are not changing, it will help you to, or help them, to redraw that map in their head once things settle down. Go back to that supermarket example in the first place. If you knew that the bread and the milk and the eggs had not moved, it may help you to find your way around the store once everything else has. Because we often think of things relative to something else. So do make sure they understand what's changing, when, importantly, why, but also what's not changing. My name's John Baker. I'm a business coach with VentureNow.